Hey guys, this is Anwar here from Hacks and Geeks, and today I'll be showing you guys how to install Kali Linux on a virtual machine. So I'll be using VMware for this. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So what is VMware? VMware is a software which lets you run the virtual machine. So what is virtual machine then? It lets you, lets you run an operating system inside an operating system. In simple words, it's a computer inside of a computer. So this is used for many testing purposes, but here we are using it to run Kali Linux. So let me switch to my laptop to show you how to do this. So the first thing you need to do is that open up your browser and go to this link. So all these links will be linked in the description, you can choose to go there and download this anytime. And as you can see here, it says Workstation for Windows and uh, VMware Workstation Pro 12. That's what they call it. And here you can choose to download or buy it. And if you download, probably I think you'll get 12 day trial. But I have already downloaded and installed it. After that, the next thing you're gonna do is that click on here, and this is the second link I'll put this in the description too. This is where you'll get the Kali Linux image for your virtual machine. So it's in VMware virtual machine as you can see pre-built Kali Linux VMware images. So here there are two options. So if you don't know what 64-bit or 32-bit exactly means, you have to do one thing. Hold your Windows button on your keyboard and press R. And then you can type MS Info 32. And then, as you can see here, there is my OS name that is Microsoft Windows 10 Home Single Language. Then you'll have versions and many more things. So, if you scroll down there, you'll see your manufacturer name and your model number. Down below, you'll see system type. This is where it is minus 60, x64 base PC, minus 64 bed PC. Yes, may be different. So, it, if it stays x32 or x86, probably it will state x86 or 32 bit PC. So if if it's something like that, other than 64, then you're gonna be downloading this one down here. That's the 32 bit. But if it states 64 bit, then you're gonna click on this and download. You have even the option to download those torrents. And there's something called as Linux VirtualBox images. If you don't know what VirtualBox is, stay tuned as uh, this VMware is paid version, the virtual box is actually free. So that video will be coming up tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. One more thing I want to say, if you are into Wi-Fi hacking, I'm going to make a complete playlist of that. The playlist will also be linked down in the description. You can go and check. There'll be lots of tutorial on Wi-Fi hacking. You can, once if you watch that, you'll be able to do all kind of Wi-Fi hacking things. So mine is a 64 bit PC, PC as I said so I downloaded this. So I have already completed the download and my file is here. So you had to install this VMware Workstation Pro. After that what I'm going to do is click on this Kali Linux folder which I have downloaded and uh, there will be an RAR file. What I'm going to do is extract this onto the folder. <laughs> So now it's completed. Let me go into the folder. As you can see, there are too many files. So this is the virtual machine configuration file, and this is the virtual machine disk file. And these are all the parts of those files. So what I'm going to do is click on this. So it's gonna prompt me to open on virtual machine. So what I'm going to do is open in that. So once I have opened that configuration file, it gives me this option. So this is of no use. I'm just going to close that. And there is an empty screen. Just click on this power on and uh, it's, if it has something like I copied it, I moved it or something, just click on I move that. So that will be something. So whenever you put some USB or something, it will be asking those. And then it will just boot up like a normal system. 
and as you can see this is very small screen right now and i know you can't work in this space trust me it will get bigger after the login process click on this part where it says username and the username will be root it is what by default so you type root and press enter then you can type to root for r o o t and password will be t o o r so i'm going to type t o o r and hit enter so after that it's going to sign you up it's going to take a little while as you can see now this thing is open but i can't see anything so what you're going to do is click on this weave and uh, go to order size and order fit guest so once you press that it gets completely onto the full screen if this isn't enough for you you can still do some things like click this icon to go into complete full screen and as you can see you can do everything here all the tools are working right here and the internet connections i haven't plugged in any wifi card so i can't see anything here but you can't use your pre built or uh, wifi card in your laptop or somewhere to this you need a separate one for that so I could just get back in here as you can see I could just work on here and everything like terminal everything is going to work and that's it there's no other things you need to take care while installing that's the simplest method you can do so if you if this performance does decrease for you because it's running on virtual machine you won't get the actual system capabilities what you can choose to do is install this or live boot it from your USB or install it to an hard disk or an SSD in your computer. If you want to know that, subscribe to your channel because that video is going to come soon on to our channel. So thank you for watching the video guys. If you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. But if you like that, hit the like button and consider sharing this video in your social sites as that will support us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we are going to have amazing contents on our channel and there is going to be a Wi-Fi hacking series which will also be linked in the description. If you are into Wi-Fi hacking, definitely watch that series because after watching that, I will assure you, you will be able to hack any wireless network. Once again, thanks for watching the video guys. Goodbye.